we would need a standard screwdriver to open the case. Let's open the top lead by sliding it. Turn on the kit, switch it to 250 volts and wait for the error code to be displayed. It says error 10, switch it off. Let's turn around the box. There are four screws to be removed. After the screws are removed, remove the bottom lead. Now, battery and isolation connections to be removed. There are two parts of the kit, the HV box and control and display unit. Let's open the HV box. There are four press locks which can be removed by a splurger. Once removed all, let's open the HV box lead. Remove all 8 screws of the HVPCB. After removing all screws, lift the board carefully and inspect physically. If nothing abnormal is seen, check the fuse by using multimeter. The fuse is located here you can see the fuse is faulty let's replace the fuse and reassemble the MIT 525 Put the board carefully. There is a connector of the measurement board. Should be go in a proper way. After reassembling the MIT 525, switch it on to 250 volts. Wait for some time whether the error pops up or not there is no error so press test button now HV generation is started you can see the voltage which is selected now the error 10 is fixed now you can check open air test by selecting each voltages this is 500 volts like that you can check all the voltage ranges now 2.5 kV Now 5 kV. Ten tera. So we tested all the voltages and the HV generation is successful. Let's connect the test leads. Red goes to positive and black is negative.
we will connect to CB101 this is insulation tester calibration box black is to common and red is to D alphabet so D alphabet is 10 mega ohms so we'll start we'll press the test button voltage is selected on 5 kV so we can read the resistance 10.07 mega ohms so which is correct so we tested it on 5 kV and now we should test in all other voltage ranges with CB101 to cross check whether error 10 is resolved if all results are satisfactory switch it off and remove the test leads and close the top lead by sliding in the case this is how we fix the error 10 fault in a MIT 525